black. So if somebody came to you and asked you what color of Christ, you're going to tell him uh, he's a black man, right? He's the color of our nation. All right. So if anybody, if, if you, if anybody come to you and ask y'all that question, now y'all know. If y'all, if any movie comes out to where Christ is a so-called uh, Caucasian man, a so-called white man, y'all know that that's a, that's a lie right there. They're not telling the truth and they're not going to tell the truth because the truth is not in them. All right. But it is your job from here, from this morning, a uh, moment on to teach your people that Christ is a black man right the reason why our communities look the way they do is because our people don't understand that Christ is a black man that's the reason why that's the reason why we're on the bottom of society right been over here 400 years plus we still doing the same thing we still are at the bottom of society right our push our people are pushing drugs on one another that hatred is still there that same hatred that they taught us in slavery is still there why because we don't know this Right, this is extremely important. We ain't just out here. Y'all, y'all listen up to this. Wait. John chapter 8, verse 32. Yep. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 7 38. John 7 38. So the scriptures say, ye. Who's that ye talking about? You so-called exactly you, you, all of us out here, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You all, one day, y'all gonna know the truth. And the, that truth that y'all y'all find out is going to make you free once y'all start applying these words. Right. Read. John chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, right. out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So y'all hear that? Scriptures say, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. Not Passion of the Christ. Not that uh, that movie that came out with White Noah. With um, uh, what's what's some of these other these these fake religious movies we got out here, man? They got Noah, they got Passion of the Christ, they got Moses as a so-called white man. Now, the scriptures say, as the uh, scriptures have said, those are the ones that has an understanding in order to get the kingdom of heaven, right? So what does it take for you to get eternal life? Let me ask y'all that. Y'all been out here a minute? Give give me that, Matthew. Matthew 19. You said what? Oh, obeying the step. Okay, that's that's kind of general, right? But we need to be extremely specific when it comes to God's words, right? You need to be able to teach this to everybody you know, your family, your friends, right? That's how important this is. So you you have to know down to a down to a science what it takes for in order for you and your people to get right with God. Right, we're gonna get the answer right here. Check this out. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So check this. An Israelite man, right, came to Christ who was an Israelite but still the son of God. He said, Christ, what does it take for me to get the kingdom? Right? Read on. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? So Christ responded. Christ said, what you calling me good for? Right? Read. There is none good but one. Right. That is God. Right. But if thou will enter into life. So this is his response to the question, right? If you want the kingdom of heaven, do what? Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. All right. So young brother, brother King and brother Akim, right? Arkim. King and Arkim. Rock him, King or Rock him. Got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, so what does it take to get the kingdom? Let me ask y'all that. What does it take? Yeah. So, so let's say all of this is done away with. Christ is back, right? Ain't no more businesses. Ain't no more. Everything's on fire, and judgment is time is is right now. Are you gonna be saved? What are you gonna be saved by? Let me ask you that. God, right? But he's only saving a certain group of people, the Israelites, that do what? Huh? Believe in him and do what? I'm going to give y'all a hint. We just read it. Read it again. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. 
But if thou will enter into life, so so remember, an Israelite man, a man just like me and you, a quote unquote black man, he came to Christ when Christ was living. He said, what does it take to get the kingdom of heaven? Because he wanted the king, who don't want the kingdom? Right, the kingdom is eternal life. The kingdom is no more worrying about working for the so-called white man. No more worrying about getting sick. No more worrying about uh, the safety of your family. That's right. Right? So he came to Christ. He said, what, is it, what does it take for me to, to be a part of this? Right? Read on. But if thou will enter into life, eternal life, keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. So what does it take for us to get the kingdom, kingdom of heaven? What does it take? Keep the commandments. Right? So y'all know some commandments, right? Right? Oh, give me give me some commandments. Y'all know some some of the Ten Commandments, right? Y'all know thou shalt not steal. Right. Right? Y'all know thou shalt uh, um, not kill. Right? Do you know that we are supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy? Y'all know what that is? Give, give me the Sabbath. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Right? Because this is the time of us gathering ourselves together, right? And and going over these scriptures and, and keeping it holy according to God, right? Christ rested on the seventh day, right? So we as his children, we got to do the same thing he did. That's right. We must rest on the seventh day. Today is Saturday, right? Which makes today the seventh day. Right. All right. Sunday is what a lot of people believe, which is the seventh day. But when you look at a calendar, it starts the day off as Sunday, right? Which tells you that Sunday is the first day of the week, which would make Saturday the what? Right, the seventh or the last day of the week. So today is the last day of the week until sundown, all right? So read what you got. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. So this is a commandment for us and for our people, right? For you, you, your family, your whole nation. This is a commandment for all of us. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Christ said, uh, Mosai said, remember the, the Sabbath day to keep it holy. All right, that is a commandment. So we, we have to keep that day holy, right? We can't be out here buying and selling. We can't be out here cooking and cleaning and doing our own things, especially right. not doing sin, right? Most, most of our people, we out here, we, we all up in sin right now. Right. We smoking weed, we having sex with our neighbor's wife, right? We planning on going to the club tonight. Right. We're not worried about God and what, and what he thinks. Right? We, we don't care nothing about that, but there's judgment for that. And we're out here for a reason to, to explain to you the importance of you keeping God's commandments. Right? Because there's going to be something that comes with you not keeping God's commandments. Let's get that Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 13. Right? So what's going to happen to you if you don't keep God's commandments? If you don't repent? Matter of fact, hold that, get repentance first. Matthew, Matthew uh, 4. Matthew 4. Right? What's going to happen to you if you don't repent? You're going to go to hell. Well, technically, we're already in hell. Right? This is hell for our people. We were created to be the, the top nation on the earth. Right? Right. right? But right now, we're the lowest. Right? Uh, one of the officers, they, they broke down Deuteronomy chapter 28 and, and broke down how Moses, right, gave the, the people the commandments, right, and explained to them the, uh, uh, the ultimatum of keeping God's commandments or breaking it, right? And the scriptures say, if you break my commandments, I'm going to put y'all on the bottom. And this, this is where we are today, which tells you what? We broke God's commandments, right? So in order to reverse that, in order to get on top, y'all want to be on top again, right? Y'all want to rule this earth, right? Our people, we over here fighting for corners. We over here fighting for, for simple-minded women. We trying to show off in front of them. When God says, you, you're supposed to have everything you see. Right. All of this is yours. Ain't no no other nations supposed to own none of this. This whole earth is yours. Right. No. That's what y'all must understand. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Read. From that time, Jesus began to preach right. and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Christ said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now give me Acts 3.19. So right. Christ said, repent. You must repent. Y'all must repent. Your families, right? Your, your, your quote unquote girlfriends, if you have them. 
they must repent, right? Boyfriend and girlfriend, God said he don't deal with that. He deal with marriage. All right, y'all got girlfriends? Y'all got women that yeah, that y'all dealing with physically, yeah. right? So that's off according to the scripture. So you must repent of that, all right? Read. Acts chapter three, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Now give me Hebrews um, marriage, 13, Hebrews 13. All right, so scriptures say, repent ye therefore and be converted. So y'all have to be uh, uh, converted, right? That's not, a, that's not a possibility or, you know, I created them to, to be the, the greatest nation on the earth. You know, these men right here, they're, su they're supposed to be leaders. You know, they're supposed to guide the, their homes and guide their families and things like that. These are things that we were created to be. You're supposed to be a king right now, right? You need to really, truly understand that and take that in. Take that in your spirit. You're, you're supposed to be ruling over other people, right? Don't let this place fool you because it's, it's fool the majority of our people out here. That's right. Our people over here buying on the Sabbath, we don't understand how dire that is. That's right. How dangerous that is. Right. Because the Most High, He's not playing with us as a people. Right. The reason why we went into slavery in the first place is because we was playing with Him. That's right. He told us not to do this, not to do that, not to break my commandments, and we broke all of them. And look where we are. Peace. Under the, the most abased people in the world. That's right. These damn so these Caucasian people out here, they are, they are a base nation, and we gotta serve them in order to survive. That's where we are today. The kings of the earth is subject to. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.